A heap of rubble was all that remained of the disused hut where the bomb was planted. It was detonated as a foot patrol of British soldiers and policemen passed. It's thought that the soldier who died was at the back. None of the others were injured, but two civilians in the area at the time were hurt and had to be treated in hospital for minor injuries. A number of others suffered shock. John Leatham, who lives nearby, witnessed the scene. Yeah, when we got down, there was a soldier lying there, so I went down to check on him, but he was already dead. I think he has lost two arms and whatever other injuries like he's caused, but he was definitely dead. The bomb exploded just behind St Peter's Pro Cathedral. Local residents said that if the bomb had gone off 15 minutes later, the street would have been packed with children. Local GP and SDLP assemblyman Joe Hendron was called to the scene from his nearby health centre. When you see it in, in, in the raw, it's, it's really quite horrific. Uh, the bomb went off just not far from my health centre and I would to see if I could be of any medical aid. A uh, policeman asked me if I would pronounce life extinct on this young soldier. An army doctor had already done that, in fact, but it was obvious to, to anyone that, that the poor fellow was not just murdered, he was slaughtered. And uh, I, I was quite numb myself. As, I, as a doctor, I see death many times, but just to see it just quite like that is, is indeed shaking.